name is Eileen Perez, I'm an astrophysicist, and this is what is Mercury's atmospheric pressure. So Mercury has a negligible atmosphere, it's called an actual exosphere, and it doesn't have an atmosphere due to the proximity to the Sun. So Mercury is the first planet to the Sun, and we think that about 4.5 billion years ago, once it got formed, all the gases that were bound to the surface kind of like vaporized by the heat of the Sun, by the solar wind, it could have just pushed away the atmosphere. Um, then the other problem is that we think that this atmosphere comes from uh, solar wind reactions and radioactive decay of the surface. So it has a very tiny, tiny amount of gas that is bounded to the surface due to uh, the small gravity. So the composition is about 42% uh, is oxygen, about 29% is sodium, and then it has 22% of hydrogen, with about 6% helium. And then it's also, it also has a little bit of potassium and some carbon dioxide and a couple of traces of different types of gases. But it has uh, very little gas and this is about the, the average comp uh, composition. So now the problem is, okay, how much pressure do we have at the surface of Mercury? So on Earth, the pressure on Earth is about one bar. Now, the pressure on Mercury is 10 to the minus 15 bars. So that's very, very, very small. Uh, I mean, that's over one billionth of, uh, of the pressure on Earth. It's one femto of the atmosphere of Earth. So that's um, the atmospheric pressure of mercury and that's due to the lack of actual atmosphere and uh, you should probably call it an exosphere. My name is Eileen Perez, I'm an astrophysicist and this is atmospheric pressure on mercury. Mm -hmm.